Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Edge. And today we're watching House of the Dragon Season 2, Episode 5. So Rhaenys has fallen, quite literally, actually. Um, <laughs> maybe that's too soon, but yeah, that was surprising. A big character like Rhaenys to go out in like Episode 4 of Season 2. Did she take out Aegon in the process? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to say no, just because uh, it looked like Aemon wanted to finish the job himself. It did, didn't it? Like yeah. twice. Sunfire is also in a bit of trouble, presumably dead. And so Kristen has gone from, you know, celebrating to... Devastating. Yeah, to quite the opposite now. So the aftermath in this episode is going to be pretty interesting. Uh, what happened to Egon exactly? How Corliss is going to react? How the Blacks are actually going to react to? Yeah. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. I knew this wasn't going to be easy for him. He lost his brother last season as well. His daughter. Yeah. And he doesn't know about his son. Is she going to fight now? I'd imagine so. I think once she got confirmation from Alicent... Last or two episodes ago, yeah, she was ready to do whatever. Aww, oh, rotting food. The traits of dragon mailies. Oh shit. Slain at Rock's Rest by your king. Why put the dragon on display? How sad for the dragon, man. And Ray of course. What it's told. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what. Is that the head? Yeah, that's the back of its head. Mm. Oh, shit. Oh, there's no cheering. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. That was not the reception they expected. Mm hmm. How many of their loved ones died over there? Oh. They're surprised the dragon could be killed like that. Yeah, Kristen probably expected, like, cheering and all that. Yeah. I think everyone's asking the same question at this point. Eamon's looking pretty smug. Mm-hmm. Can't tell from Alicent's face, because, like, you'd expect the mother to be bawling her eyes out, but not this mother, you know? Yeah. If her son was dead, that is. Oh, but she doesn't even know yet. Oh, dear. Is he dead? I'm guessing so. I doubt that would have, like, killed him off like that. Oh, shit. Is he alive? His grace remains with us. Oh, he is alive. The burns on his head. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, oh. it's, like, oh, melted shit. to his skin. Oh, shit. He doesn't have long left. There's no way. Even the mace is like... Gonna puke, man. Do I sound 
Ich bin für die Pizza. What are they doing here? Oh, thank God he can't. F well, I don't think he can feel any of this. He's not like screaming. You can watch the screen now. Someone will have to rule in his stead. Oh, yeah. That's convenient. It's not very subtle of you. <laughs> the king is accustomed to what befell him. His grace fought valiantly. You're not going to say? He will. She'll squeeze it out of him. Like lemon juice. <laughs> See, she figures as much. What was his part in this? I could not say. The bro code. The bro code. Well, he's totally just useless, isn't he? The friends. That name triggers me. They control the oh, dude. Friends. Cricket starts greatly from marching south. I don't know, some proactive behaviour here. I'm yeah. Kind of with him on that. In his nature, you can tell he's like a ticking time bomb. The hour is late. My dragon is hungry. You <laughs> have no choice but to submit. Oh my god. Terms are simple, Lord Bracken. Renounce the false king egg on any usurper. <laughs> Can't with this guy. <laughs> Fire. Oh my gosh. <laughs> gosh. I did not think they would be so eager to die. They made their choice. You should have indulged them and even lied. What? You came here to raise swords, not corpses. Or perhaps you could try less fighting and more persuading. The worst I can think of is making them like eunuchs or something. Over the centuries, oh, shit, that's a throwback. Looks exactly the same, pretty much. <laughs> have hunting powers that are not too simple. They are dragons, nonetheless. I do not recall you specifying the size of the beast in your request. That's you fair. Me, child? The dragons will grow. In time, I don't have time. This war is kind of happening right now. I mislike feeling powerless. So do I. Yeah, I mean, she feels the, the same sort of sentiment because she wants to bloody do something. Mm. Oh, what now? Who is this woman? I don't recognize her face. The finest. Viserys was unsuited for the crown. Who is this woman? Not Alice with blonde hair, is it? Because, like, you know, he's into Targaryens and stuff. If only they'd gone first. My favourite son. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm ill. That's disgusting. I mean, the force of goose, if you prefer. What was that, bro? Cast their huntsmen before the woods and wood. Damon uh, seems, I don't know, weak and useless this season. He's like, he should be their greatest strength. Mm. But perhaps she could provide the necessary coin if he could only write to her. Stubborn as. Mate, I would try to get out of there immediately. Oh, yeah. I must admit, I'm not shit. Oh. I have plied my crafts to their fullest expense. Our king's faith <laughs> lies. Works perfectly for Eamon. Eamon is devastated, man. <laughs> <laughs> he gets to, I guess, take charge now without having to do it behind everyone's back. Mm. Like with just Kristen. Yes. 
true. The realm would notice his absence. Let them hear of his great deeds at Rook's Rest. But now we must name a regent to take his place. Until he recovers. They're all like, uh, we've kind of already done that. You play your part admirably. Oh. Oh. Circumstances have changed. And here I have forgotten. The king does not lack for so He does not want him to, choice, to take this. To immediate successor. Prince Hain. Agreed. Hain is young. And his lack of Come on. strength. Bring Otto back. <laughs> They're lost without Otto, man. Why would they listen to her as it is experience that queen? the surest path to security. Queen Alison ably shouldered the duty. They don't even do it when she's on the council. Experience is valuable. Mm. Dowager Queen is a woman. I am no stranger to royal order system at this time. I mean, she's been reading up on the history, but that's about it, right? If the hand speaks with the king's voice, Sir Christian, what say you? He's saying amen as well. Amen. No more hanky panky for Kristen. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Actually, he might get extra hanky panky for that. <laughs> it's agreed then. She tried. I'll give it to her. Oh. She's all over the joint this season. Yeah, absolutely all over the joint. The bandits. I don't think it was that they would listen to her. I think it's that they wouldn't be listening to Aymond. You know? Mm. Oh, she is really rattled. Rattled. She hates everyone here. She hates all of them. We shall meet again at first light. When someone cut down the fucking rat catchers. Oh, Thank dear. you. Okay, I agree with him on that one. Goodness sakes. What the damn dog, man. He had dibs on. Oh no, I'll take it back. <laughs> Dog's still there. Oh my god. For his owner. Seeing faithfully to the Prince Regent's command. Amy is the next in line. And is the order of things. You know what he is. But he's somehow become. He says that's the order of things. <laughs> we are given a war to the dragon. Is that where you should leave us? Yeah, he's really shook after what happened. I mean, understandably so. Mm. You want to hire more? For that, my mother will reward you crossing. What does her grace desire? He's handling the business quite well, but unless he can follow through. Well, I mean, of course he can. Well, he's a strong, technically, right? <laughs> he should have every claim to the castle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alice has no chill. Damon is being, like, wasted here, in my opinion. Mm. Just wasted. I think he's probably going to keep failing if he keeps this line of thinking up. Mm. I think that's what they're setting up. Oh, dear. oh shit. A message, Her Grace. Uh, uh, fresh news from Stonehenge. The Blackwoods have overwhelmed the Blackings, and uh, Lord Amos has pledged his banner to you. House Blacking is yours. Okay, I don't even want to know what they did to those men. He's grieving, I get it, but yeah. Rhaenyra didn't mean it like that. No, but like, look at his family. I would make you my heir. I am blood and fire. Driftmark has passed his soul to the sea. Mm. Oh. 
I think he'll get that council in order 100% when he ends up inevitably yeah. putting it on and, and taking charge, I think, mm. alongside Rhaenyra. We cannot challenge King Tyrion without the Lord Council, but I will not send a message by Lord Winter Dane to disregard. I ask you to reason with him, find out his state of mind and his intent. I don't even think he knows. Damon, that is. Imagine cheating on your niece with your mum. Carly. What have they done? Carly. They messed with his head. head. He didn't do that intentionally. Not at all. He hasn't even thought about him. Yep. He accepts. He's about to take control, I think. Mm. It's, they're a bit of a mess. Yeah. They're at the throne. Yep. What's she got to say? Oh, she knows. Mm. Oh, shit. How does she know? Or maybe she, she saw things. it. Yeah, she saw it. Maybe Aww. that was one of her things. But I don't remember her saying that. That's nice. It's a bit late, but... Looks like she's somewhat, I don't know, interested in caring for him. Yeah. Oh. Aww. You can't speak. Interesting. Mm. <laughs> Distant dragon rum. Uh, what does it say? Grumbles or something? There you go, I suppose. Grumbles. He's pissed. <laughs> oh dear. Oh yeah. <laughs> when Aemond comes hunting for you, your dragon is young. Can you fly before Vega as Luke did? Yeah, he'd get bloody swallowed. Damon would do. Mm. It's the truth. Yeah. But if all else fails, it is I who must fight. Yeah, she got a pretty, pretty big, um. But Cyrex yeah, like dragon. Mm. Elise fought two dragons and one of them is slain. We have no dearth of dragons. We have two large enough to stand against Vagar. They are called Vermithor and Silverwing. And they stick to speed our feet. Yes, I oh, think shit. Could stand against me. I would go for them strength and not for necessity. Who's going to ride them? The dragon will only accept a dragon lord to ride it. Also, so the histories. Valyrian histories. They're written to gild us in glory. They're probably going to get that guy at the tavern. Mm, I'm not sure. Oh, Damon would not have that. There could be scores of them. They're cooking something, finally, it seems. Yeah. Get the big boys involved. At least someone's thinking. I personally think that was the weakest episode. Probably of the series, actually. Not just the season. Season one, I felt like, was pretty strong all the way mm. throughout. Felt like there have been a couple of lacking episodes. Like, this didn't really... Progress an awful lot in one hour and they're only doing 10 episodes. I just thought there'd be a little bit more I expected maybe a little bit more from like the morning of, of rain East Like there were some nice sort of moments between a couple of characters, but nothing that sort of blew me away Yeah Damon is just half the character he was in season one It's a real shame this whole Harren Hall thing has just I feel like it's really halted his Not development but progress Some might argue that like the whole point would be to like show that his current way of thinking is not working, so he's weakened because of that. But I just I don't know. He's the greatest asset, in my opinion, mm. to to Team Black in terms of an actual fighter. Yeah. Okay. Maybe he doesn't always make the right decisions. Sure. Yeah. Even when like 
Viserys was ruling in season one, he was a very hands-on kind of guy. Mm. Like, he was there enforcing things. And, yes, he's kind of doing that now. Like, I thought they were going to spend less time doing this sort of thing. Like, I mm. saw it for one episode at Harren Hall, and I'm just like, mm. yeah, I don't know. Lucky for Matt Smith, he kind of just, he owns every scene. Yeah, so he definitely does. Yeah. He's kind of saving that character right now. But I just, Damon was a lot more intriguing and seemed to have a lot more layers in season one. Mm. What I find interesting is the same people that were having a go at people for liking Damon in season one are now the ones pissed off that those layers that he had in season one aren't aren't really there anymore in terms of like love for his family and, you know, he hasn't even thought of his daughters. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The only thing he's thinking of now is like... He wants to be king. <laughs> yeah, I, they're paralleling that with um, Aemon's success mm. at the moment. I feel like that's kind of a kick in the guts to Damon too, because he's like, "Oh, that little yeah guy got what he wanted, and I don't have what I want." Like, because mm. you can see he relates to Aemon. Yeah, I thought Jace was pretty good in this episode, taking mm. matters into his own hands. He wasn't being too like rash or anything yeah. like that he was just trying to think up some clever strategies he wants to get involved and i thought yeah he was definitely the highlight for for team black because mm. i've said this before they've they've kind of bored me this season yeah um they're just they're missing damon in the thick of things and um the kids are the most sort of exciting yeah although i'm pretty happy that Corliss is now the yeah hand. at least there's some structure yeah that's what we were lacking yeah and te- in terms of team green um Definitely characters I'm more sort of excited about to see on the screen. Except in this episode, Alison again just kind of pissed me off. I'm just... Oh, I don't know. I oh, know. It is very frustrating. I, I'm finding Alison and Damon to be very frustrating characters this season. 100%, Which yes. is annoying because they're my favourite characters pretty much, along with Otto. Yeah. But I found them to be... Oh, well, I, I like Eamon as a character. I know people hate him because of what he's done. But I'm saying in terms of like interest and, yep. and all of that. I just thought that was weird... For her to stand up and try to take over Egon when she seemed to be that character that was not wanting any of this and then frustrated about, like, not being heard. What makes her think that she's going to be heard just because she's got a different title? As I said during the reaction, I don't think it's about that. I think it's that it wouldn't be Aemon standing right there. So it wasn't so much like she wants all the power and all the glory. That's not what I'm she saying. She yeah. care about that, but she knows her son better than anyone, it seems. Yeah. Uh, th- she knows what he is, and she wants to prevent his ruling because of what she can foresee. But that would lose so easily. I hate to say it, but if she was like... She, she won't make those hard decisions. She just well, wouldn't. She wouldn't. The council would be making them all for her. You know, mm, yeah, they I, be doing that anyway. I, I share and now that, Eamon is going to be like, do this. No, I share that sentiment with you that, yeah, she probably doesn't want Eamon to, to be in charge because she was looking him up and down and thinking, oh, shit, you're a crazy bastard. <laughs> you're a crazy <laughs> son like, of a bitch. who are you? <laughs> um, and then, you know, sort of that... Son insult- of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Carly, you got to get my jokes quicker, man. Yeah, I don't know, her scene with Egon towards the end, he, he spoke, so he's still got a part to play. Mm. Uh, that's what I got from that scene. I don't know how they're going to finish him off. Oh, he wouldn't have a lot of time left, but I think he's still got a role. Yeah, I know. I wonder how they're going to, like, wrap Yeah. Because I think something's going to, like, happen. There's definitely going to be either symbolism or meaning or something about his death. Um, That's either going to change a character, like Alicent, or it's going to do something, right? I just can't really see what that is just yet. He might say something similar to... His late father, like Viserys, you know how he was a bit mm. delusional. Um, he bit might of, say something. A bit of a shame because um, even though Aegon's a bit of a dickhead, he was an exciting character, and now he's kind of now we kind of lose him. And now they're about to to bring in the big guns. Rhaenyra's finally cooking up a, a decent plan, even though it's, it seems a little bit risky. Mm. Um, I feel like that's something Rhaenyra is willing to do. She's willing to kind of swallow her pride because imagine like getting these outsiders almost i know they're like somewhat related by blood getting them to be a dragon rider like mm. that is an extremely high calling would you say i don't know it's like an honor um all for the good of her team like that's very 
uh, noble of her, I feel. Like, swallowing that pride, being like, yes, let's think outside the box and I don't really care if it makes us look bad or whatever. Um, I'm doing it for the greater good of our side. Well, it could very much backfire, but the the upside is there. I mean, they're huge dragons, right? What were their names? Vermithor and Silverwing or something. Yeah. So that's exciting. I guess that's a, a bit of a setup. I just thought, like, in an hour-long episode, there just wasn't an awful lot of progression. I agree. What in terms we... of enjoyment, it was definitely, like, the lowest one of the series. Like you said, I agree. Yeah, but uh, not even that. Like, there have been... Like, the first three episodes, there was no, like, action, but that was still somewhat yes. enjoyable, right? There was progression made and... No, I'm not talking about action. I don't need action to enjoy an episode, but, yeah, it felt like... Like, what happened? What, we what, were at a halt this what, episode. What did we progress? I guess Jace made a couple of plays towards the end, and Corliss is going to be hand. Aemond, I mean, we kind of already... Like, that was obvious that Aemond was going to take yeah. over from Aegon at the time, mm-hmm. so there wasn't really anything there. Like some sort of prophecy from Helena would have been cool. I don't know, like a little Easter yeah. egg maybe. I mean, I know it's building up for Damon to probably eventually get involved. I just thought, uh, I just think Kim and Allison have been weak, uh, like a lot weaker in terms of characters this season. With sort of little progression so far. Mm. Uh, hopefully that changes. I'd imagine Damon will get involved uh, at some point soon. Maybe next season. I don't know. Um, oh, actually, now that Damon is king or whatever. Um, Otto can probably come back. Aemond has no beef with Otto, from my understanding. Yeah. That was Aegon. Yeah, but Otto won't be in that same position. He won't be no, hand. Remember, but he like can come him back. And Chris, Aemond and Kristen are pretty pretty tight, right? So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see what happens. I think the show is missing uh, Otto for sure. Yeah. Yeah, bring him back, man. I know. I miss Reese. Such a good actor. Yeah. But yeah, maybe at some point. Maybe he comes back with um the other... Daron? Yeah. Darren? Yeah. <laughs> Dazza. <laughs> Dazza. Da- good old Dazza from Australia. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, maybe at some point. That was set up, wasn't it? Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out for early access to all of our reactions. You can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.